Hello, hello, my name is Rhea, and welcome back to Starfield. Today, we are gonna continue along with a couple of missions. I wanna go see my parents, see what that's about. But I've been doing a couple of side missions, just to kind of get the feel for the game myself. Okay. I had to go get 10 iron ore. Really gonna bolster our numbers. I dropped right. it. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. <laughs> now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. I guess I'm doing this. I thought it was just going to be a do that and be done kind of thing. Um, I tried to do a couple of other side missions too. Oh, Sarah wants me to talk to her. Let's talk to Sarah real quick because she's been bugging me. She's been hollering at me like, hey, just talk to me. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? I had visions. I heard sound of music is difficult to describe. Yeah. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? This is the weird question. Um. Powerful. Raw energy. I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. Ah, oh, that's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Yeah, it definitely feels like I was trying to communicate. Great. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. It's certainly a unique that obsession. Really surprise you. A universal mystery left unsolved for God knows how long. Oh, I've been dreaming about solving this puzzle from the beginning. We'll get to the bottom of the mystery together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. I think she's starting to get the feels for me. I think, uh, she's starting to like me just a little bit. That's cool. Uh, let's go back and see. What do we have to do? We have to apply for the job. So I need to see that on my map. Where is that at? It's out in space. Yes. I don't want to... I guess I want to go in the air around there. I'm still kind of learning how to do the space stuff. Yeah, so this is where I want to go. I don't see anything to fight me out here, so that's good. And I want to go there. Thank you. Hail. What does hail mean? Damos Star Yard acknowledging civilian vessel. Our sales department is open. Please dock if you want to do business. Ah. Wait, wait, that's this one. Wait. No way. I'll get the hang of it eventually. Come on, let me have... Oh. Alright, let me do that. I just have to get closer, I think. Oh, yeah, dock with R. Ha! I'm learning. I'm learning. I just read about them. 
I forgot they were on my ship. That kid and her daddy -o. I Gotta do that mission eventually. Hey, I need to apply for a job. Deimos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. Assistant. Seeking a highly motivated individual to assist an executive in charge of mining operations and day-to-day -day responsibilities. Prior executive assistance experience preferred, but not necessary. Must be willing to relocate to Sidonia. Internship is unpaid with option for permanent role at the end of contract. Minor accounting. Okay. Apply. How many years of experience do you have in an executive? Oh, I have about one to four years. Uh, yeah, I got my PhD. You will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly and the best of your ability. The executive wants you to bring them a whiskey neat. What does that mean? Great question. A VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive who is inexplicably running late. What should you do? Uh, nothing. Never speak to the client without approval. A malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up. They need to go to an important off-world meeting soon. Course of action do you take? Offer them to use your ship? While handling an executive's email, you come across a message from someone claiming to have damaging information about the executive. What should you do? Yeah, ask them how they want to handle it. Never speak of it again. The executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they're drunk. What do you do? Take care of them until they sober up. Submit application. Oh yeah, thank you for your interest. We'll review your skills and experience. And let them know you're a good match for the position. We appreciate you choosing. Ooh. That was a possible for countless victories. There are two pieces of these interesting. I find stuff here. Welcome to Demos. Think. Oh, keep reading. Um mission board. I tried to do one of these planet missions. On Rhea. Um where I had to go and survey an island of the whole planet. I got like 93%. I was so ticked about it. I just couldn't figure it out. It was really frustrating. All right, let's go back to the map and go back to Sidonia then. Don't worry. We're going to make sure you get that job. Trust me. This is the I filled out the application. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, You'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in. Can I just not do that? I'll do it. That's sure, the sure. spirit? Believe me, this is going to help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. Surprised That's helpful. Everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. All right, let's go upstairs and do that then. Way up there. Oh man, we're trying to jump down now. I have an elevator though. Let's use the elevator. Elevator. Oh gosh, no, don't do that. Let's go to. Go. Let's go to main floor. Look at that speed. I'm just gonna go in here. Don't worry about me. I'm just uh I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lots of That's great. Um so look at me. Job applications. So this guy, we want to delete his. We want to delete this guy's. We want to delete all of these. Here. Nothing happened. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Now let's go back down. Oh. oh. Hi. What's been going on about the heart of Mars again? Like she gonna give it a rest? Don't worry. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make sure you can trust me. 
Oh, I did it. Hey, I heard about the Heart of Mars just now. Do you know anything about it? Sorry, mate. Okay. Sounds made up if you ask me. But then. Did it. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm ready for the next step. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. I like. I'm not supposed to be doing any of this, but that's fine. Let's just go do it. Just because the office is right. Then we gotta go do something with the. With the. Um, part of Mars? What's that name? Hi, boss. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. I've never met you. This job is without an assistant. Um, I'm here now, ready to work. Good. Now, let's me. You look a bit different than I remember. Did you go to Enhance? No. Now I remember. They told me they sent me someone new. Anyway, ah, they wouldn't say how you did on your application, but they did say no one else was available. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Well enough, chit chat. Let's get to work. Sure. Not to do it, I'll do it. Very enthusiastic. Noted. Sorry. Well, I need something done, and I don't want to go looking for someone to fire you just yet. So, I have a shipment I'm waiting for. Don't know where it is. Last time this happened, my assistant went to speak to the governor. I'm sure he'll help you to get it sorted out. Now, kindly, off with you. Oh, okay. you're done? Yeah, you have something for me to do. I'm gonna go do it. What? Oh, you're done. Of course I'm done. What you... <sighs> Gotta go talk to the governor. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hi. I'd love to chat more, but I'm expecting a message any minute from the trade authority. You know how it is with these big businesses, am I right? Nope. Ah, uh, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, I need to huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? So you've heard of heard me. Of, you. of course, how? how could I not? I've done anything. Interesting. It appears Governor Hurst is well aware of our exploits. Exploits. If by exploits, you mean what your friend <laughs> is doing for Sidonia, and not your work for Constellation, Ms. Morgan, you're right on the money. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. But I actually am his assistant. So I got the job. Brass tacks. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Mr. Brennan's personal shipment. Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. What? However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Ew. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go. Hey, friend. Don't mean to bother you, but I could really use some help here. This 
I... Oh, they want me to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept the phone call, because... Wait. Did I just get up instead of... Oh, didn't mean to do that. I want to accept the phone call. It is good to see someone out here. I've been drifting... Oops. Uh... Yeah. He's a bad guy. I kind of skipped it, but he's a bad guy. Let's go over there and enter the ship. There we go. Go ahead and shoot them. Get rid of them. Destroy them. Alright, let's board. I don't know if I should have picked Sarah to be like my lifelong always here person. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, are you okay, sir? I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Oh. Stay down. oh no. I need a different weapon. Hold on, hold on. I don't have What do I. What do I do? Hold on. I have to go in here and get a new weapon. Get up all my ammo. What am I using right now? This one has a laser in it. Let's try this one. Don't leave any of that behind. Ah, where, are you, where are you going? Hold on. There's stuff here. There's a whole toilet. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh no. I'm only level 2 pilot. Oh wow, this is awesome. I have ammo for this. I don't have a lot of it though. All of your stuff. Okay. Oh, I would love to keep this ship. This is a nice big ship. What did I find in your pocket? I found something in your pocket. Hold on. Yeah, I want to see my dad. This is it. Whoever finds me, my name is Skolos. I've been drifting with no fuel for over a week now and no signs of rescue. To all those I have wronged, I wish I could say I'm sorry, but the truth is I don't know if that's true. This isn't how I would like to die, but the guilt and the uncertainty has driven me to take my own life. Goodbye. Dang. Sorry about that, lady. I'm leaving. I gotta destroy the ship. Away, eh? what, what do you mean? There's nobody here. We, we killed them all. Didn't we? Oh, no, I guess we didn't. I don't know how I feel about this laser gun. It's not very accurate either. Not that I'm the best at using it, but. Oh. It's pretty powerful, though. To be honest. In here. Nothing. I'll take that. Man, he got nothing. Oh, oh interesting. Synthetic turkey. Doesn't really do anything for me, does it? Hmm. I think that's all I can do here. Okay, that's done. Let's go back and see if we finish this, and then we'll go see our parents. Where are we going? What are we... Oh, I gotta destroy the ship too. I forgot.
taking a lot, but there we go. There we go. Let's take that stuff. All right, I'll go back now. I'm realizing I need to start putting some stuff away in um in the chip, like sure lead and stuff. Care of her little, uh, I'm back. You, uh, take care. Yes. Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. Thanks. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. Ooh. Go tell him we did our job so we can get on the computer so that we can approve the thing so that the guy down there can take care of business. That, uh, thing I, asked I did. You to do yet? Uh, wait. No, you asked. It's fine. Do you have it? Yes, here you go. Ah, yes. Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Um, of course. Oh, you're done? Yep. Your requests. PTO policy. Submitted by some of us self included have been worked hard for almost 15 years but we're still stuck with a standard 10 days off the calendar year now i'm grateful for employment but i've heard that somebody's back home where they get 15 pto or uh placement mining equipment yeah okay drink selection yep approved Messages. I've gotten word from other executives you haven't been replying to your messages in a timely manner. I'm writing to request in hopes that your assistant, when you hire one, might see it. Yeah. Okay. And now let's go see our messages. Meeting requests. Looking forward to meeting you to discuss a potential partnership. I know opportunities to buy Martian ore don't come by very often, so I want you to know I'm willing to make a generous offer. Let's discuss it in person. Hmm. Um, okay. That's cool. Let's go tell the dude what we did. Did the stuff. Are we ever gonna work for this guy again, or are we just gonna leave him high and dry? Because that's kind of rude. I don't mind doing it. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. Uh, I approved your request. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my oh. guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted. And he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this... Okay, I got oh, you. Thanks. We don't currently have much information. They'd be the last... Yeah, 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 yeah. You get the ship services on my way. I need to get to my ship anyway to do ship related business. I need to put some stuff away and then we can go and do other ship related businesses. Like find out where Hank is. I thought that was all I was gonna have to do for this. I thought this was gonna be an easy side mission. Like I did one where I had to go get a book for a kid. I did that, oh yeah, I did that on my way back. What else did I do? I did one where to go to like a little bay and get some stuff out of there. My friend Sarah didn't like that because I lied to the guy, but that's fine. I don't care what she likes and what she doesn't like. She's not my boss. She's just an accomplice. Hi, I'm here to speak with you about stuff. What is this? Hey, what can I do for you? Um. Anything I can help you with? My sick sure ship thing. needs repairs. We'll get it fixed up. Um, looking for information on Hank. Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. Know him by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took his ship and departed. Actually, 
It looks like he came back into Mars space recently, but he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Thanks. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck. You have to go all the way back and talk to Trevor again. This is a lot of back and forth nonsense. I mean, I'm down for it, whatever, but come on. What is this? Base on Mars, historic touch here. That's silly. Wait, activate? No. Okay, anyway. I'm back. Now don't worry. As long as you play it cool around. Binding's fair work, but you... That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. I'll Remember, find him. it's most important. We've got to do it before we lose track of it. And we've okay, got to okay, hope okay. whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't. Oh, he should be up here. This is where we went to go find information on that one guy's ship. Got a P1. All right. Hi, Hank. My first contract, but I've already hauled more ore than any of the old timers could ever produce. That's rather jealous of me. That's questions for you. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Here. Here you go. Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Uh, cut the crap. I right, took the equipment. Okay, you got me. Yeah, I took it. Want to know why? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos, screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Give me the equipment and no one needs to know. Hmm. Oh shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and then we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. I promise. Sure, fine. Just, uh, follow me. If it's any consolation, you. I don't trust this man either. I'll keep an eye on him. Thanks, Sarah. Yes? What? Hey. I mean, you gotta run like that, bro. It's not easy. Coordinating corporate efforts between the Star Yard and Okay, well, I guess I'll follow him and I'll let you know if anything exciting ends up happening. Man, I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. Mm -hmm. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd mm -hmm. all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> It, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Say so. I'm still not trusting you, though. I'm so suspicious. Is this is it over here. Come on, you're taking too long. You're taking too long. Come on. Park my ship off away so they wouldn't find it right away. I'm sure you get it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back. I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back to port and let someone else unload it. We'll have to all back ourselves. Anyway, see it just up ahead? Yeah, I do now. That was really suspicious that I don't have to walk all the way back, huh? 
Huh? All right. That's enough. Now face me. So I don't have to shoot you in the back. I want to do this, no. Hank. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Killing me won't save you. Other people suspect you're up to something. Not if I convince them you were behind it the whole time, newcomer. And after I kill you, I look like a hero. No one has to get hurt here. The only one gonna get hurt. I'm gonna have to fight him, aren't I? Well, when you say it like that. Can we work something out that doesn't involve us dying? We're way past that now. Alright. Sorry. And that means. Yeah, that was a waste. Let's go back. Well, I wish I hadn't had to kill Hank, but you know, stuff happens. Got in the way, I couldn't persuade him. It just didn't work out. That's fine with me. Let's go talk to Trevor. Why are they always just standing here? Someone has got a lot of work to do. He never does any work. Any, I'm looking forward to hearing all about Found out what happened. Oh, do tell. What took him so long? Uh, he stole in hopes that you'd all get fired, and then he tried to kill me. Well, I can assume how that went from the fact that you're here and he's not. He worked hard, but he was a dumb kid. I just never thought he'd be that stupid. Or dangerous. It's a real shame. But I'm glad you managed to resolve it and get back our equipment. I'll take it from here. You really saved our asses. I'm not sure how I would have explained to the suits that we lost all that new stuff. Thanks. Still looking to help us out. Maybe check with Rip. Okay, I think I'm done with these guys for now. I want to go and see my father because I first need to sell this crap I just got. And then I'm going to go see my father. That sounds like a fun plan. Okay, so apparently this is where my parents live. In New Atlantis. I wonder what my parents are like. Is it? Hey, Dad. What? Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Hey. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, daughter, but I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm working for a constellation now. Come again? Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't Aww. I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Stop, Mom. You're making me hey, blush. I don't get to sing your praises as much as I like. No one can. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Oh, uh, well, that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the girl catch her breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. Aw. Thanks. Is that all I was supposed to do? Was that it? Well, I'll have a look around here, but... I have a washer and dryer. This is nifty. I think you have to have the kid perk to do this, too. Feel free to grab anything you need. Thanks, Mom. Which one's my room? Is this my room? It is a mess. What is this? High school backpack. Oh, it's a... That's cool. Backpack note from mom. I patched up your old high school backpack. Good as new. So there's many pockets. There's so many pockets in there now. One of them has an old apple. Well, it's clean now. I know you're grown, but the backpack has the best storage in the market. Maybe you could use it with Argos. If not, let me know and I'll donate it. Love, mom. Mom's so sweet. Mom is so sweet. Look at this cat. Oh, what is this? I have a pooch. I love it. I love everything about it. What's this? Plushy Galactic Hat. Oh. 
How cool. How cool. This is pretty cool. Parents' room is nice, though. Oh, that's nice. That's nice that I can come here to see my dad anytime I want. I'm gonna take this stuff out of here. I need all of it. Can't open the fridges or anything. That's unfortunate. Why is there a skin cream bottle in the live the kitchen? I think it should be dish soap. What's this? Crafting component. Let me just take all these. They don't weigh anything. Sorry, let me take that. That could be useful, but I might I might try to play around with that tomorrow later. Anyway. Why? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Next time we'll probably get back on the main mission. I might do a couple side missions in between. And uh see where that gets me. Is there any other family? Let's see. Can I break into people's houses? Yeah, I guess I can, huh? That's creepy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Raya, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!